Today I'm gonna be doing kind of a public service announcement thing about screen burn-in because this is kind of an issue that plagues people and a lot of people get it and they will just get a new monitor or TV or whatever and not realize that it actually is a repairable issue. So first we need to explain why screen burn-in happens and that's actually different depending on the display. Old CRT displays and other types of like projection displays and things will generally have a discoloration of the actual screen material that the light is shining onto, and that's what causes screen burn-in. Um, just from having an image shining on it, it discolors it a bit just from the heat radiation or whatever. It's different depending on what type of projection it is, um, but that actual screen layer is what will get discolorized, and that is actually not repairable unless you want to replace the actual screen on the TV or monitor. But most people don't have those. Most people have LCDs, LEDs, all those. And those screens are actually easier to repair than that because all that's happening in an LCD display or any of the other types of flat screen displays is that the pixel is actually getting stuck. It can no longer relax back to its off state or quote unquote off state, it depends. Some screens are still technically on, but they're, they're, it's always, it gets stuck out of its off state and the way to repair them is all the same. Essentially, you just have to try and flash a bunch of colors really fast at it to try and just get those pixels moving again. And in my experience, I can usually fix most burn-ins. Now, if it's been left in an unrelaxed state for a long time and that screen burn-in is set there, it's generally harder to get out. But if you realize that burn-in is happening and instantly try to remedy it, usually you can completely get the screen back up and running to its full potential. One of the best ways that I've found to run that is just run a YouTube video because most things can run YouTube videos no matter if it's a TV, you can run it off your Roku or whatever. So I will link a YouTube video down below in the description that is essentially just like literally an hour of flashing colors. And epilepsy warning, don't watch it if you have epilepsy because it flashes really fast, really vibrant colors. And also if you have migraines, the video actually does trigger my migraines. So just be aware of that. You might want to set it and run if you have any <laughs> issues like migraines or epilepsy. Um, but yeah, you can let it run for 10 minutes, see if that fixes it, and just keep checking on it like every 10 minutes or so, or just let it run for the full hour. It won't hurt the display to let it run, but yeah, it depending on how long it's been setting in the unrelaxed state, it depends, but usually it'll fix it within like 10 minutes or 20 minutes, somewhere around there. It's kind of hard to tell, it just really depends, but usually you can fix the screen by letting that run at most for like an hour or two. Now, if it has been stuck for a long time, I can't really say whether it'll fix it or not. You'll just have to kind of try and just let it run and see if it does fix it. But I've been able to fix my monitors if I've gotten a pixel stuck on it or whatever, or multiple pixels. My ultra wide monitor that I use, I actually got a bunch of the pixels stuck on it and the um, old player unknowns battleground screen was basically just on the screen all the time when i was using some really weird shaders and things trying to make it look good i had ended up leaving it set there at that screen for like an hour while i was on the phone and then i came back exited out of the game and then the screen was still just a ghost image on there and that freaked me out because my ultra wide monitor is my best monitor but yeah running that video definitely fixed it right away so I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Any of you that have stuck pixels or screen burn-in or whatever you want to call it, um, definitely give it a shot because it's free. And in my experience, you can always get the screen to come back to its original state. And yeah, it doesn't work on CRTs, projection, whatever. Those are going to get ruined whenever they have screen burn-in. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you like the content on my channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you have questions about screen burn-in or anything like that, I will try and answer them down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next video.